Boeing's largest 737 airliner so far made its first flight on June 18th, when the prototype of the MAX 10 model took off from the manufacturer's assembly plant in Renton, near Seattle. It is now four years since Boeing announced the new narrowbody at the 2017 Paris Air Show. The company's engineering and flight test teams now face a type certification process that's expected to take around 24 months. The MAX 10 is 66 inches longer than the existing MAX 9 model, and it has a wider middle exit door to take account of the 12 extra passengers it can carry. Total capacity is for 230 passengers. The new 737 also features some changes to the wing that are needed to accommodate its main landing gear, which is based on that used for the much larger Boeing 777 airliner. Like the rest of the MAX family, the MAX 10 is powered by a pair of CFM Leap 1B turbofans. It can fly up to 3,300 nautical miles, which is between 250 and 550 nautical miles less than the existing MAX types. It competes mainly against the Airbus A321neo airliners. Some of those have longer range and are proving popular with operators now needing to deploy smaller aircraft on transatlantic routes to cope with demand diminished by COVID restrictions. At the controls for the MAX's first flight were Boeing chief test pilot Jennifer Henderson and co-pilot Jim Webb. The flight lasted two hours and 37 minutes before landing again at Boeing Field in Seattle. Thanks for watching this AIN video. Please like, subscribe, and share it if you've enjoyed it. Also, visit AINonline.com for all the latest on the aviation industry.